are with follow-up questions that are expected in January 2024. We have two candidates, so let's discuss with them. First, we are covering the topic photos. Why do people take photos? People usually take photos to create memories whenever they go somewhere or whenever they uh, celebrate special occasions. They click pictures to create memories and to remember them forever. What is the effect of technology on photography? Well, nowadays people uh, love to take photographs through the help of technology. It has made uh, clicking photos more easier and now photos are more clearer than in the past. Okay, can you trust a written text or a photo more? I feel that a, phot a photograph is more uh, evident rather than a written text because it is a solid proof that something happened but a written text can be false. Okay. How have people's photography habits changed with the advent of smartphones? Nowadays people with the advent of smartphones they are clicking more and more pictures and there, there has been a trend of clicking pho photos and people are becoming shutterbug nowadays. Do you think photographs are a reliable way to record history? Definitely. Uh, our past hi uh, historical events are somewhat covered in photos when there used to be less means of clicking photos. But now as we have so much of technology, so with the help of it, we can record uh, our history and we can maintain to show our future generations what events occurred in today's time. How can historical photographs influence our understanding of the past? I think that historical photographs uh, increase our understanding as one can get more knowledge about the history through those visuals and, and, other, and they can also share with the other, people, other people. In your opinion, what role do photographs play in teaching and learning history? Uh, uh, in learning history, while uh, peop uh, students really get bored while uh, about the theoretical test, like pract practically when they see the photographs, they get more intrigued that what it was all about, what is the event all about. Say, uh, so they get curious and that is why it gets more interesting for students to get to know more about it. So I think uh, photographs play a very major role in developing the interest of students in history. Okay, next topic is cooking and food and the follow-ups are Do you think the range of dishes that people usually cook is affected by the agriculture produce available in that region? Yes, I think that that in a region which, which agri agriculture things are uh, which agri uh, products are being used and uh, pr produced because of that the dishes are getting changed and it, it has been a area variable uh, cost too. How important do you think agriculture is in your country? Agriculture plays a major role in my country's GDP. It uh, majorly contributes to the uh, factor of the economical factor in my country. Uh, most of the uh, income that comes to my country's GDP is from agriculture only. And there are, there are so many people who are involved in the agricultural sector. In what ways can technology be integrated into agriculture? I think that there are so many ways that technology can help production of crops and it can also help people to, to, do, to do the work uh, conveniency and it also help people to uh, do the work in a fast way. Can agriculture be improved by technology in what way? Yes, technology can help improve agriculture in many ways. Various devices can be used to produce crops and they can help farmers in various techniques. And uh, the main concept of artificial rain has helped many farmers in not uh, in my country, but definitely in other countries. So yes, technology can be very helpful. Are there any negative impacts of using technology in agriculture? Yes, I think that there can be negative impacts of using technology in agriculture as people will get in unemployed because heavy use of technology as the work which can be done by people will be done by uh, those electronic devices. Okay, next topic is far away country. Uh, what benefits does tourism bring to a place? 
tourism first of all brings the revenue to uh, our place if there is lot of mm. tourism in our country then definitely there will be more revenue people will get a chance to earn more and more money whether uh, it is due to flights or hotel bookings or the local markets uh, that tourists will explore so definitely it brings revenue okay how does tourism affect the culture of a destination i think tourism impact a culture in a adverse way mm-hmm. as as some people from other countries visit uh, some nations so mm-hmm. due to enhance uh, communication it may it may have a negative impact as people will as that place will become a global village so there will be a, mix, a mixture of cultures so it will be positive or negative it will be negative how as as people will be uh, as they will forget their old culture and they will get get uh, they will start adopting new cultures okay it can be positive also so it depends in i'll see there is no right wrong opinion you are right at your place okay but if we have to give the same answer how does tourism affect the culture of a destination tourism can impact a country's culture accordingly it can be positive or negative uh, when a tourist visit any country then they bring along their own culture as well it can be a uh, something which can be relatable to their own culture as well but it can be positive also like there are so many traditions that can be followed like when we go as an indian when i go somewhere then i bring my culture to another place uh whether it's about communication or whether the uh, example could be when i touch the feet of elders it can be very surprising for other uh, tourist of the other nations so likewise there can be more example of other tourist okay. of other place as well does globalization bring any negative impacts to a place I think that uh, yes globalization can bring negative I- impacts to a place as people will pe- uh, as that place will be having a lot of problem on on its in- infrastructure as people will be visiting from different nations on the local transportation on the local people as well okay how can young people benefit from traveling uh i think nowadays youth are more interested to travel rather than to stay in their own country uh in my country people especially the youth love to travel and uh, they want to explore and more uh, countries and they want to visit and they want to fulfill their dreams okay how can young people prepare before traveling young people can prepare in many ways as they can they can prepare like what things they want to do in in while they're traveling they can man uh, they can they should arrange all the bookings and of hotel, hotels and or uh, where they will be staying throughout throughout their trip and there are also so many ways that uh, they can also plan some activities which they want to uh, do and search about those location which they want to visit can travel have a significant impact on a person's character or world view and how definitely uh, some people are very orthodox in their thinking so i feel when they travel to different places they get to know more about other cultures other traditions and they when they interact or communicate with different people i think it opens and broadens their point of view and it can help them to be another person rather than an a narrow minded person why do some young individuals prefer to stay at home i think that some individuals are uh, introvert mm-hmm. as they don't want to interact with public mm-hmm. and they want to just isolate themselves at home they want to spend them, uh, time with themselves or with their families or just they want to have some uh, explore some something on social media okay next topic is movie What kind of movies do people in your country always enjoy watching? I feel uh, uh my country loves to watch rom-coms. It has been a uh, generations has passed but rom-coms is something that my every generation loves to watch whether it's kids, elders or the middle-aged people. So I think that is one genre that every generation enjoys in my country. Why do most people like such movies? I think that uh, it it is a great source of entertainment and moreover it also provide like uh, 
people of all age can watch so that's why it become a benefactor uh, benefactor of watching these types of movie do you like watching movies in the cinema or at home i definitely enjoy watching movies at the cinemas because uh, at home there can be lot of disturbances or there can be people coming and going but in cinemas there is proper silence and there is a proper ambience where a person can watch a movie and enjoy it okay in your opinion can a movie be successful without a good looking actor or actress in it and why i think that um only movies with a good good story get uh, get popular uh, uh, the movies with good actor and actors can also be popular but i think the most uh, the, the thing which which people get attracted by the, that is the story and the moral of that movie okay what do you think about a movie with a bad story i think uh, when movies are made people uh, look forward to the story but if a story is not good and it is bad then obviously people lose interest in that movie and it does not earn how much it is expected to and it does not create an impact that okay. it is expected of what do you think is more important in a movie a good story or a good act I think that both plays a pivotal role in making a movie but whereas uh, according to my understanding I will go for a uh, good good uh, good storyline as a good storyline will always encourage youth as youngsters are most likely to watch all the trendy movies What happens when a movie has a bad story but a talented cast Uh they can be big and talented cast in a movie but if the story is not good then all the talent goes down the drain it does not matter how much of big and successful actor you are but uh, if a story is not good it will not bring any positive outcomes next topic is favorite sports person How important is it for children to be involved in sports from a young age? I think it's very important as children who are getting involved in in a such age they will get uh, they will enhance their motor skills and they will also stay fit even at at the older age and it will also enhance it will also make them energetic to continue their daily studies. What role do famous athletes play in promoting sporting activities among the general public? famous uh, sports person plays a huge role in promoting sports i think whatever they endorse impacts the youth as well as the general public if they uh, influence sports more then the youth will get inspired from them to uh, uh, promote and pursue their sports as the main passion do you think all athletes should be considered as role models why or why not no i don't think because uh, some uh, some athletes are getting uh, uh, get on hike because of some uh, some unethical means and they uh, show something else and their life is not uh, suitable so that's why they do they should not be considered role models okay why do you think some parents focus only on academic achievements not on sporting activities for their children uh usually parents have this mindset that a child should become a doctor or engineer only so that is why they feel that sports is nothing but a waste of time but which is a uh, totally wrong as sports plays a huge role in character development of a child so i feel parents should be guided and should give knowledge how sports is important for a child and how it should be promoted and for a child and how a child should be given much importance to play sports okay can involvement in sports help in a child's overall development and how yes uh, as sports help uh, children in many ways such as uh, it it help uh, but uh, enhance child's uh, mental growth holistically and moreover it also uh, teaches a child to become a punctual and en- enhance team spirit in inside a child it also includes some habits such as uh, such as team spirit and many more how can schools balance academic and sporting education for the overall development of students school plays a major role in character development of a child mm-hmm. i think equal time should be divided between sports and academics for a child sports as well as academics should be mandatory for a child so that the child could uh, 
participate as well as give complete importance to both of it next topic is about child the time you spent with the child in your opinion what role should parents play in disciplining their children as parents are considered as best role model of the child they used to set an example from very starting till the end as they used to include such habits to maintain timing and uh, and have a good discipline in life who usually spends more time with children in a family mother or the father I think uh, nowadays uh, both equally spend the time with the child as both are now working parents so I think the time is divided between the mother and the father with the child do you think this is the same in all families no it's not same in all the families uh, there are some mothers who are housewives even till today so I think mothers spend more time as compared to fathers well and in some families these days fathers are taking the responsibility you can take the example of ranveer kapoor he has taken a break to take care of his daughter so now i think fathers the time has changed, changed. okay in some families females are working and men are taking break to take care of their children so you can speak anything okay Why do you think it is important for parents to monitor their children's friendships? I think that a man's company impacts a child, uh, that person a lot. So I think that it's parents' duty uh, to watch their child's, uh, their own child's company, as as the company can have positive and as well as negative impact. Do you think parents should have a role in choosing their children's friends? No, I don't think that parents should interfere to such extent uh, when it uh, it comes to choosing the friends of a ch- uh, their own child. I think they should monitor, but they should not choose and decide who their child be friends with. Okay. As it is said, friends are born, not made. But yes, parents should monitor. Do you believe children learn more effectively from making mistakes? or from strict rules and conditions i think that uh, child uh, a child learns more from making mistakes and as well as uh, from discipline too because both thing have both thing play uh, various roles uh, in their own way and it, when a child makes mistake he himself or he or she he himself learn how can he be correct next time okay next topic is party are parties really necessary in your opinion definitely a person should not only work uh, they should party as well i think uh, to celebrate any special occasion a party should be there to make that event more special should people invite their neighbors when they have a house party i think yes uh, as as inviting neighbors in their house parties they will be uh, celebrating as a group and it will also uh, help them to develop their uh, relationship between their neighbors Should all parties have loud music playing all the time? Not at all. I feel there should be some rules that should be definitely followed if there is a party going on. A uh, loud music should be allowed till a particular time only as after that time uh, the people around will obviously get disturbed. Okay. What types of parties do you like and why? I do like uh, parties with my family and friends as these are the most common parties in my nation too and as these parties will help uh, or always uh, enhance uh, some uh, developing a relation and also it's the best way of celebrating some kind of function and occasion. How do you feel when you are at a party? I feel uh, great when I'm at a party especially when, if it is a dance party as of a pension for dancing so I enjoy that a lot What would you do if the neighbors complained about your noisy party I will apologize and I will make sure that that doesn't happen in the next time What can people do to make their party less noisy uh people can uh play games or they can interact and they can create memories by talking rather than playing noisy music and the last topic of this session is helping others a person who helps others do you like to help others and why yes i do like to help others as i have a keen interest in helping people whenever they have something in need okay do all children like helping their parents no not all children have a keen interest in helping uh, their parents as uh, some some children don't want to work okay 
How can children help their parents? Children can help their parents in various ways, especially in household work. Some children can help uh, in kitchen with their mothers and uh, some people can help their fathers in, uh, in his business. How can parents teach their children to help others? Uh, parents are considered as the biggest role models for their children. So obviously children should help others as whatever their parents teach them helps them to grow into this wonderful person. This is the end of this session. Thank you.